Another threat consists of tampering with data. Back in the day, swapping websites was a popular joke. In this slide, you can see an older website from 1997. Data tampering isn't just harmless fun. It can have serious consequences. By putting manipulated data on trusted websites, attackers can misinform large groups of people. Data swapping can be used as a propaganda tool. Many systems perform automatic operations on the basis of certain data. If somebody modifies the data, it will affect the working of the whole system. The person who controls the data flow of a system that is for some reason important can control that system. This is a serious threat. For example, by modifying prices, we can manipulate the market. Another type of threat is repudiation. Non-repudiation is a feature of a system that makes it possible to prove a user has performed a certain operation on the system. Non-repudiation is the essential feature of electronic business. E-business couldn't exist if it were possible to repudiate an offer or an order. Otherwise, having already received the parcel, you could say it hadn't been you who made the order. You could also question details such as price or quantity. The ability to prove that someone's performed a certain operation is the reason why people can trust one another in the virtual world. However, many systems don't guarantee non-repudiation by default, which is an easy vulnerability to exploit. A story of a system administrator in the local job center is one such example. The administrator exploited the fact that the system didn't guarantee non-repudiation. He created fictional applicants for unemployment benefits to appropriate the money. Everyone knew he must have been the perpetrator because he was the only administrator in the system, but his guilt could not be proven because of the lack of non-repudiation. The evidence was only circumstantial. Information disclosure can have very serious consequences. You can learn about some of the more spectacular data leaks from the news. In 2011, the Sony company was troubled by many fortunate events, and data leak was one of them. In April that year, attackers stole credit card numbers of 80 million clients of the company. That's massive. That's twice the population of Poland. Some issues get less publicity than others, though. Such was the case with one of the U.S. Army bases that controlled the flights of unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. This is an extremely secret facility only few people can enter. Taking photographs of it, even from outside, is forbidden. Despite all the security measures, someone infected the computers in the base with a virus. Likely, this was due to a lack of security policy. The virus collected the information used by the navigators of the drones. The attacker had access to data concerning the aircraft locations and flight routes. The U.S. Army acknowledged the attack. It was acknowledged that someone had tracked all flights of the reconnaissance drones for a couple of weeks. The effect it had on the operations in Iraq and Afghanistan remains unknown. However, the Army denied that the person who tracked the flights managed to control the aircraft. Nevertheless, the incident had tremendous impact on the security of the system.